all right hey everyone welcome back to another video of salesforce bytes my name is imanshu and in this particular video we'll talk about field sets right now what are field sets we have heard about fields but field sets can be helpful when using visual force pages right this is kind of a form based systematic entry of fields that are available in the field set and then you can define and use it to get user input to submit record data so what do we generally do we go to a record and when we try to create a new record we click on the new button and you fill out these fields right this is configured via the page layout but what if you wanted to create a custom component or a custom page and have the user en enter similar similar data uh, a data wherein you would have a lot of fields in the form what fields do you choose how do you set that instead of choosing fields one by one you can create a field set and you can invoke that field set in your code and you can actually get the user to fill in the fields that you have put in the field set right that's the basic purpose and basic idea behind field sets right this can be effectively used in apex in custom coding to get the field metadata information and you can drive your business logic ac accordingly now there's one class that's called schema and under that you have an instance that's called field set member this can be used to fetch the details about the field like you know what is the label of the field what is the name what data type is it and you can use it for dynamic circles also all right so if i take a look at how you would be able to use field set here let's first go to salesforce and let's try to see if we can define a field set for contact let's say setup and here i'll go to object manager and i'll open the contact object let's go to contact object and here do i have something that's called field sets yes i have something that's called field sets i'll say new and i'll create a field set i'll call it my first field set all right and where the, where is this used i can just uh, put a brief description i'll use it in apex vf and lightning just a brief description i'll say save all right now if you notice as soon as the field set is saved it lets me add some fields in the field set so you see whatever is a uh, whatever has to be made available you can drag it here and whatever will be part of the field set you can drag here so for example let's say i want to have again clean status i can just drag and drop it i can have the email i can have the fax i can have email opt out i can have the department maybe these are the five fields right and if i want to make some other fields that have to be available i can just use the fields and put them here also right and then what will happen is i can put, move them and put them here so those will be available and you can use them inside the field set all right let's assume this is what i want to go with let's add languages also maybe in the available section and these are the five fields i want in the field set i'll click on save when i'm comfortable so this creates my field set and this is the api name of the field set right if i quickly go into developer console and let's try to see how we can use this field set in visual force right let's quickly create a vf page so i'll go into developer console and here i'll just go ahead and say file sorry i'll just say file new visual force page right i'll call field set demo okay so my page has been created what i want to do is i want to invoke or use my field set right so if you notice since your field set has a lot of fields you would want to have an iteration over it right and i have two options two examples for standard objects what you would have to do is you would have to use dollar object type dot object name dot field sets and dot the field set name right but similarly for a custom object you won't have just this particular name you would have an underscore underscore c here all right the syntax remains the same it's just that for custom objects you'd have an underscore underscore c all right and once you iterate over it you can get different values on your input field what are those values you can have db required whether it is a required field you can check required you can check db required is database required that's an internal field required is your page layout field required you have label you have data type and your field path all right so i'll go ahead and try to imitate this particular code all right let's go back and let's just say apex repeat and then i'll just use the value and the var so i can just say value is equal to and var is equal to fields all right and inside this i can define an input field so i'll just have these two, these three values maybe okay let's try to uh, let's try to bring in the field set so the merge field concept will be here and then followed by dollar objects dot contact dot this is my field set name but i need more stuff here so how do we invoke it object type this should be object type 
followed by the object name followed by the keyword field sets followed by the field set name all right let's click click on save let's see if this saves up so this is giving me an error on the input field let's go back and see we can put the value and we can put the required uh, check here all right so if you see fields is the variable that you have defined so you can use the fields attribute and you can define your values so i can just say fields dot what is the variable i have available i can take a look at this it is db required and required right let's use the db required and then what should be the value so the value have to be has to be defined by using the array annotation so you have the contact object and you want to pick in which field do you want to define so that's why you have the annotation of contact within array the field name all right so whatever field is in the field set will come up here and then you can retrieve the value that is stored in that particular field so this would be the annotation all right and i'll just leave the name for now let's try to immediate our uh, uh, snippet let's try to save it so this is saving up fine so it looks like i might need to define the standard controller or else the vf page won't understand what object is it let me try doing that as the first resolve and let's see if that works or not yeah that's the only thing i had to do so your vf pages have to be defined with a standard controller or some custom controller or with an extension so since that was not defined it was not able to identify the contact uh, object right now that i have it let's try to preview it and see how it looks to see four fields here and one of them is missing but uh, yeah i hope you get the idea of how you can use a uh, field set you just have to use this particular annotation dollar object type dot contact dot field sets followed by the name of your field set and if you have any forms that you want the user to fill in you can use input fields or output fields or output text or input text attributes on your vf page uh, definitely this will work differently in lightning or our lwc but yeah this is how you can use your field sets all right and field sets why are they handy they come in handy because if you notice you just have to define your field set on the on the org level as a metadata and your you don't have to define n number of input fields here today if you are working with five fields that that's fine but tomorrow if you have 50 fields that a user needs to fill out a form for you might have to create input fields for every one of them right instead you can use an iteration over the field set and you can get the form filled based on whatever the fields are available right i'll quickly take one more look at the profile let's go to profile and let's see oops let's go to profiles and let's see if there's any field level visibility hidden but this is the system administrator so it should not be the case however i'll just still check it once and then we can close this video system admin contacts all the permissions are available so it should be able to see everything not sure why one of the fields is not coming up maybe some limitations with the checkbox field or maybe something else so that's fine let's uh, close this video here but i hope the primary purpose of understanding fields as it is served right cool i'll see you in the next one bye